That's also very true. Yeah, I've heard some fucking... That was, that was on the menu. Like, you know how there was just, like, yeah. fucking comments on the menu for bring Bro, well, that was one of them. I was like, oh, that's fucking hilarious. That stuck with me for... Since we played bring Fucking pain. <laughs> Viewers that don't know as well, um, the person that is talking right next to me is Danny DeVito. He is one of my mods in um, chat. Yeah. Yo, yo, yo. I am back, boys. I am back. Hey, Potato, I apologize. I did not see your messages, my friend. Got 600 skeleton spawners and 5 stacks of Neverite blocks. And 60 sets of after max never armor and 60 pickle farms decent potato decent you still on the potato um on the pickle farm grind even that they aren't as efficient no more when i say efficient i mean i just mean the price of, has been dropped and this is also if you're still here i apologize if you are because i did not see your messages at all and to have um just come back Anyone new here, if I don't read your message, feel free to drop your message again until I, until I um, actually read it. Just don't spam it in. Okay, what are we going to do here? Look at the team home. I'm coming, my friend. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Jesus, what the fuck? How much money did you spend, Iris? From the bay. Oh my god. How much money did you spend? 700k. Fuck it. Oh, I can go. I got a tickle on my throat. Sorry, boys. I just keep muting my mic. Nah, bro. I appreciate that, bro. You've just done all this labor and you've paid seven hundred k for that, bro. I'll happily pay seven hundred k, bro. You've done fucking mad work. I knew it was gonna cost a lot, bro, because of how much this fucking cost. Yeah, bro. Hundred percent, bro. You look, 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 look how much work you've done, bro. I appreciate you so much, bro. Appreciate you. Like, you didn't, you didn't have to do any of this. Like, I said, like, lots of times I was like, you could go home and stuff. But, nah, man fucking, man just got to work. Man spent 700k on finishing the fucking wall and half finishing this. Sheesh. How good, bro, how good. I might even fucking help out a bit here. Let me just drop off the sand at home. I think I want to make, like, a... Yeah, we need one more wall. What I'm also thinking, bro, is maybe making it like a... What's it called? Colosseum? Maybe make it like a Colosseum, bro. But the only thing is, is... um, I know... Because we're going to get random people in there as well. There's going to be points that, like... There's going to be people. And I was like, yeah, fucking, let's have a 1v1. We'll TP here type thing. Um, So, probably going to have to make the majority of it out of um Obsidian, sadly. Just because... Yeah, it'll, it'll get like destroyed or even by crystal pvp it'll just get destroyed type thing <clears throat> yeah i wonder how we're gonna do this wonder how we're gonna do this how should we i might try i might start working on like a coliseum but something like that how sh far should i you, you'd be half decent at this cam wouldn't you how far should i have the blocks out make it go up a certain height and then start coming in and out. Um, hmm. Let's just bot. Depending on how much rows you want. It's not really going to look 100% legit. Like, rows are just going to let you just be like one block up type thing, just because oh. it's all done obsidian, so we can't really do the texture. It's very hard to see as well. That's like probably like three blocks. Four, five, six. 8, 9, 10. If it, is it going to be like... All the way around. Yeah, and then we'll have... Like one thick or multiple thick? One thick. Uh, 
then, yeah. And then we'll have like an entrance. You know how there's only an entrance where the people come out? That entrance over there is just going to be to the other columns here. Other side, other one. Yes, uh... Might make it... We'll go nine. Is it, a, it is a waste, a little bit of a waste of, um... Hey, I appreciate you so much, bro. I appreciate you so much. It is a little waste on the subsidian here, but at least we've got... We'll have a little stance, you know, we can try get some people, like, because a lot of people respect the rules, and they'll happily go on the fucking the side type thing. And watch. Okay, now doing it from the side here. Oh, I need a normal block. Just fucking get fucking soul sand because I can break it. Easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. From the bay, do you um like sword PvP? Only one bad thing about this area though is it's Asia, so it's um not suited for all. Oh shit, I fucking went well over. Uh fuck. Oh, uh, <laughs> I got a fucking mine out obsidian. I guess I don't actually, I just fucking... Hey, you have a lovely night, my man, and have a lovely sleep. I appreciate you stopping in. I'll be um, streaming all weekend, bro, so, um, yeah. Till next time, my friend, you have a good sleep. And I appreciate all the help that you've done as well. Appreciate all the help as well. Definitely appreciate the help. It's been fucking amazing. By the time you wake up tomorrow and you jump on, you'll have there'll be an arena here, my friend. An obsidian arena. <laughs> oh, the floor now. How do we do the floor now again? Do we have like a fucking like three flat and then start coming up? You reckon? Or two flat? Ah, we'll go three flat. I am bloody sitting home up, up here after that. That took like three minutes. Um, so here's my old um cactus farm. I so I was actually gonna make my cactus farm like real rich. Like I had all the bottom layer like iron blocks, made all the walls obsidian. It got raided, so me and the couple of the boys have just started placing a whole bunch of uh and I also made like the floor and that wall there obsidian. One of my teammates have um, done all this, so I'm turning this into an arena. So this was basically like my cactus farm, as you can see. There's lots of cactus just left over. Um, so my goal was with this was to make this all obsidian, so if it did get raided, I could turn the team home into an arena. This is where my kelp and pumpkin farm was. Um, they were both 3 by 6 chunks, and then... Uh, it's because of I've spent quite a bit of money on obsidian here on my new farm, um, and now I've got no like money method. Like so, I had lots of like money from like these and stuff. But then also I I give lots of my viewers money. Like I give a lot of my viewers like a lot of money. Like I probably spend like a couple mil a day. Today I haven't really. I've dropped my money down to like I give people around like fifty k now just because um. I've got no, like, real good income. So, yeah, basically, this was all, like, my kelp set up and stuff. Like, so, it was, it was rough seeing all this, uh, get demolished, you know. But, yeah, this made, um, quite a bit. Had 30 bill, but lost it. Hey, I'm sorry to hear that, my friend. Hey, there's a cactus fall. <laughs> it's a bit rough, but, you know, it's all right. It is what it is, just, just starting fresh. I don't mind starting fresh. Um, but, yeah, I'm pushing everyone to make cactus farms just because, um... You don't need, like, redstone, observers, and pistons. <clears throat> so it's, like, real cheap. You could literally just, like, start the game, join the server, get a random spawn with a desert in it, and, like, you're away, like, basically. Just the main thing is just clearing out an area. Yo, what up, bro? Hey, what's your training, my friend? What were you, um, what were you training? What were you getting up to, my guy? What were you getting up to? You're at the gym. 
or you're doing like some sort of sport or something like that and welcome back as well welcome back <clears throat> So yeah, crazy. A lot of my viewers in here, I like to rate people's bases and stuff. Uh, a lot of my viewers, a lot of them now, you'll see a lot of, like, decent-sized cactus farms. Because I've told everyone just to make cactus farms, because they're the best for, like, fully automatic. Like, you can get, like, better, like, you can make more money off, like, berry farms or cocoa bean farms. Uh, that's manual. You Like, you've still got to put bone meal into the machine to get it going and stuff like that. So this here is just fully automatic. It makes, makes the most amount, so... Just been trying to push everyone to make these because yeah you don't need money to um make it and then you just make all the money back to make it like bigger you know what i mean athletics how good my man how good good to hear about you guys like getting out and stuff like there's a lot of you guys that um don't just you know sit around playing video games 24 7 like lots of you just, like go to the gym like do like athletics to um like jujitsu do wrestling, um, hockey, like, uh, Joe Donut, he left probably about 30 minutes to go play some hockey with his sister, and his sister's mate, um, what else, is there baseball, I'm pretty sure, some people do some baseball, it's quite cool, it's quite cool. Yeah, I didn't do anything when I was in school. In, like, primary schools and stuff, I was, like, in my primary school, last year of primary school, I was, like, the fastest in the school. I was always, like, expected to do the best in, like, all the, like, school races and shit like that. Uh, then I got to intermediate. I was pretty good then, and then I got to college, and I just, like, started loving my video games, uh, and just I started playing, like, a lot of video games. <laughs> Hey, I appreciate it, bro. I appreciate it. I'll still be streaming for so currently the time for me. So you guys that don't know, I live in New Zealand. Um, the time for me is currently eight, quarter past eight p.m. So I'll still be streaming for at least like um four hours. I'd like to say. Still say four hours. I like to do big streams as well, boys. Like so on work days, which is well only a Monday. Um, that I stream. Um, I would do probably like a five to six hour stream and then all my other streams i do like eight eight to ten hour streams type thing do quite like biggish streams okay that's the place we're gonna have to do that that's why i don't like starting in the middle as well start in the middle you're gonna have to place a fence at some stage because the cat you can't get the cat to scroll up again because the fence is here Eleven sixteen a.m. for you. Sheesh. I'm assuming it is a Thursday, a Thursday for you. So for me, it's Friday. It's Friday or or no, Friday morning. Sorry, yeah, fr uh, Friday morning. Yeah. What do you got planned for the day, my friend? What do you got planned? Hit me with it. And what do you guys got planned for the weekend as well? Are you guys gonna do anything? Surely some of you have plans for the weekend. My plans for the weekend, boys, is stream. Stream for you guys. Whenever you guys are free. Friday. Playing your hardcore world. That's something that I've, um, like, kind of want to do. But I know at the moment, a lot of my viewers really enjoy me, um, playing Donut SMP. So at the moment, that's all I'm, like, kind of streaming at the moment. Um, I streamed, um, the, well, I, I tried to stream the Black Ops 6 beta. It was a bit buggy, but it, it didn't really seem like much people were, like, interested in that, which was kind of a little surprised. Seems like everyone's definitely most interested in doing SMP. It's your birthday on Saturday, Sunday, and you're going paintballing with your mates? Bro, happy birthday for Sunday, bro. Happy birthday, bro. I love paintballing, bro. I remember going paintballing with my mates back in the day. When was the last time I've been paintballing? It's been like... It's been at least over four years, sadly. We're all stream paintballing? Shh, 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 shh. Let's go get uh, a couple of GoPros. Yeah. Yeah, paintballing's awesome, bro. Yeah, I hope you have a wicked birthday, bro. I hope you have a wicked birthday. Paintballing of all the boys it would just be so awesome, eh? Hell yeah.
I always like last every time I go paintball, yeah, I just I'm just not fit enough for it. Eh? I look like I'm in good shape, but uh, yeah. After a couple, like after a game of paintballing, a day of paintballing, the next day I just cannot feel my legs. I like jelly. Painting and a bit of jujitsu. That's very true. Because that's the standard. Mm. And even just fucking just constantly just climbing ladders, bro. It's just so fucking tiring on your legs and shit. Right. Climb ladders. Oh, yeah, job. fucking 24 7. Yeah, it's pretty tiring. <laughs> Old and shit. Heavy shit up ladders. Yeah, you go do that for eight hours and then fucking laugh. <laughs> you got anything else planned um after your birthday, bro? Like doing any like food or anything like that? Are you doing food during, um, during paintballing? Cool. Yeah, like you know, you can have like a little break and get back out in there. If you've booked it, it depends on how you do it because it'll be, I'm assuming your paintballing course will be a lot better than our ones here. You have a lot more choices, I'm, I can imagine. Nah, not really. Might go out for dinner though. How good, bro. Dinner with the family, eh? Gotta have dinner with the family. And surely you'll get to pick what place you go to, right? Some food that you like. The time it's eight twenty. In about ten minutes' time, um, I'll check my um, my chests and see how much cactus I've gotten from this farm. Yeah, it's always a good thing about birthday dinners. I parents fucking shouting. Some fucking dinner. You get to choose what it is. Or even if, you know, you just like your home uh home cooked meal or something like that. Get your favourite done for you. What Y level can like what's the lowest Y level you reckon to grow it? Like grow have your farm at? I have my Y level like at negative like 56 bro like basically as low as you can get like a couple of blocks above bedrock I'd say because then you've got so much room to, to play with above but if you start like um quite like high I guess if you start Hey, I appreciate the follow as well, um, Kendra. And you made number 600 as well. Hey, I appreciate all of you. But um, you can always choose what level you want to start with. So that's what I did when mining down. Because it's always easier to mine, like start from the top and mine down. Than, you know, from the bottom and mine up. So that's what we did. We kind of like went and dug to the very bottom. Got the level where we wanted at the bottom. Went to the top, got the level where we wanted. And then set home or had water like this. Because we've got more, like, as you can see, levels up there. So that's how we got up, basically. And, yeah, so that's what we'd do. Um, I gotta go to my main... Blah, 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 blah. I gotta go to my man. Got church. Hey, you enjoy church, my man. You enjoy church. Have a lovely time. Um, did you sell skeletons? Um, like, months ago. Or, like, weeks ago. Sorry, bro. Uh, I, I haven't had skeletons in, um... Hey, I appreciate the follow, crazy. I appreciate the follow. I haven't had skeleton spawners, sorry, um, for a wee while. Ever since the pickle prices um got changed, um, I sold all my um skeleton spawners. What are you laughing at over there? No, like you said, ever since the pickle crisis. <laughs> nah, the pickle spawners got changed. Oh, nah, not pickle spawners. Pickle, just the pickles. I wonder if the pricing's all the same. Wouldn't be surprised. No one's bit mentioned anything. Sure, I'd get notified if the pricing um had been changed. But yeah, by far I recommend making a cactus farm, just because you don't need to spend any money on like redstone, uh, observers, pistons, any of that stuff. There, very easy to make as well. It's just a little time consuming, but you know what farm isn't.
and you'll just get better and better at it like I've come up with a nice little system myself to make the cap cactus farm which I find quite easy to do now it just takes long just because you know it's very big uh, poopy far and poopy pee far are pronounced the same Poop poopy far and poopy poopy far true now that's mind-boggling. Read this one. Yeah. Poopy, bro. Poopy far. Poopy, bro. That's like fucking like you've like something in my brain's just like can't. It's like the monkey just clapping, bro. <laughs> like, I it's could just horrible. like I could just fucking read that over and over and over again. I'd get I'd get no. <laughs> but yeah, that's mind-boggling. You know the most mind-boggling thing I heard. What? And I got this off. You might already know it because you played. We played fucking like Rearm yeah, on yeah. the menu. Um, every pee pee time is a poo poo time. Every poo poo time is a pee pee time. That's also very true. Yeah, I've heard some fucking. No, that, that was on the menu. Like, you know how there's just like yeah. fucking comments on the menu for Rearm? Bro, that was one of them. I was like, wow. That's fucking hilarious. That stuck with me. Since we played very hard. Fucking pain. Viewers that don't know as well, um, the person that is talking right next to me is Danny DeVito. He is one of my mods in um, chat. Yes. I am Danny DeVito from Always Sunny. Well, that's the one. We don't know food. <laughs> oh, welcome, Evan. Welcome. <laughs> Sorry, I was fucking chuckling away at your fucking message for way too long. <laughs> now I'm struggling back for the fucking the cactus farm. I'm making a huge cactus farm, my friend, and I have no idea where this pearl has just gone. I'm just struggling to get up there. Maybe I'm just gonna fucking go to my home. So all my farms got raided. Uh, I had some really big bases, um, and they all got raided, sadly. So now I'm making a brand new base. This is gonna be our area for... So this is mine and Cam's base. Um, this is gonna be area area for like chests and just like decorations and stuff. Um, any pl um honestly, no plans to do any other farms until I hear about the like the prices changing. As soon as the prices change, you know, if like the cactus goes down and like say like sugar canes now the highest, I'll make sugar cane farms. Like it's basically whatever the farm is, like the best farm is, and this is by far the best farm because it sells for the most. And it's very cheap to make. So here, I'll give you guys a little show of um, some of my prices. But just a heads up, I've sold 171 million. Um, so my multiplier is at 1.6. Uh, I poopied and pooped my pants. Um, so uh, here we go. And I also do it by stacks as well. So we'll start it off with cactus. The stack of cactus is $819 for me. Now we'll go pumpkin. Pumpkin should be the same as um, cactus. And that is the same, 816 Now we'll go with sugarcane. That is 614 Now we'll go with kelp. I'm just going in the order that I know of, of from highest to lowest. Kelp, 409 still hasn't changed, just like the rest. And pickle, which should be the shittest, three hundred and seven dollars. Terrible. <laughs> yeah, that's why I do cactus farm boys because cactus is by far the best. Uh, sweet berry, sweet berry is by far well, not by far, but sweet berry is more expensive. Um, nice. Um, but. So sweet berry and cocoa bean is the most expensive, but the only thing about sweet berry and cocoa bean is you can't make a fully automatic farm. You've always got to, you know, grab bone meal to fucking, well, turn bones into bone meal to fucking then do it. Unless you've got a bone meal farm above it to just, like set it up, there's no real way of having a fully automatic efficient farm. That's why I recommend this here, because while you guys are, you know, doing other things, you know, building onto your base, doing stuff. You're not making any money off your berry farm. Me? Look at me just talking around, doing absolutely nothing right now. I'm currently making money off of this right now. Um, also, I've got... How much longer? Um, I've got four minutes until someone asked if I could, um... 
if I could test how efficient this farm is for now. Um, so just for an hour. So um, in four minutes, um, I will see how much it is. I don't expect it to be crazy. Um, just because, you know, in my eyes, it's not actually, like, that big yet. Like, this is only, like, what, two chunks back by four chunks, and it's not even complete. My eyes, when that's fully done, like, yeah, that's a, that's an average size farm. Um, but, you know, lots of people would say, like, right now, this is huge, but I, yeah, I think this is tiny, to be honest. Um, but that's just me. I need to get some food. But yeah, how's everyone going? What's everyone's farm? Like, what what does everyone use for their farm? What's everyone got planned for weekend? Hit me with it, boys. Hit me with it. <laughs> uh, okay, let's just go to this home. <clears throat> got the last, what? Got the last couple of minutes. Before... I went to the wrong home. Hey, you guys play, um... Fuck you, skill. <laughs> you guys play Black Ops 6, the beta? I'm gonna have a bit of a game, game of that tomorrow. Probably not on stream, just because I can't. Last time I tried, it was a bit rough. But, um... I'll definitely be doing some recordings, that's for sure. I can't wait for zombies, eh? Zombies will be so good. Looking forward to zombies. <clears throat> but yeah, sadly, don't think zombies will be released tomorrow. Have to wait until the actual game comes out before that gets released. Hey, I apologize for anyone that's got ads. Um, Twitch is actually, um, views that know me, I don't really, um, what's it called? Elf promo? Or promo? Yeah. I don't really, like, advertise, um, buying, like, subbing and stuff, but for this month, and this month only, until probably next year, um, Twitch is giving 25% off subs, and that's what will give you guys ads. And it'll give you a couple of other benefits as well, and some badges and random ass things, but yeah, it'll also support the channel as well. Um, but yeah, so that's one way how to lose ads. Uh, surely the timer is probably about to be up, so I can go check off. Hey, Evan, you have a lovely fucking day, my friend, or a lovely night. And yeah, I hope I catch you up on the next one, my friend. Let's see how much money, well, not money, but let's see how much this is actually made. I doubt it's even made one. Yeah, this is how much it's made in an hour. Just under one chest. Cool. Which is about like 40, um, like if I sold this right now, that's about 40k for me. Right there. It's not like crazy. But that's, yes, yeah, so that's basically why I'm just like making it bigger. I'm just going to teleport over there because if I throw a pearl, it's not going to work. You're digging out cactus right now? How good, bro, how good. Yeah, cactus is just good. Even, like, if you guys are rich, like, say if you got, like, 10, 20, 30 mil, you know, 100 mil, like, you guys obviously can afford pistons and observers, but it's, it's just, I made a kelp farm, and it felt like I spent, like, 50 mil on, like, pistons and observers, and it just didn't feel like I ever made that money back, you know what I mean? I definitely recommend, um, yeah, doing this, because you just don't have to spend any money. The main thing that you're spending money on is just wood and sand that's if you're not like mining it up yourself so once you've got a small portion of cactus and you've already got a layer going you know you're always gonna get your cactus back i just hate placing this this is so annoying I'm trying to figure out the fastest way to do this Damn cactus, and I need to keep an eye out on my armor as well. I had a close call earlier today, and almost broke my helmet, I think. It was either my helmet or my boots, or one of them. 
She was uh broke. Boom, boom, boom. <clears throat> Five AM Black Ops Six comes out. I think we'll have to have a jam tomorrow morning before stream. Make sure to record all my um footage from Black Ops Six as well, boys. For anyone that wants to watch it, I'll upload it to my Discord. And yes, that did just happen. I did just fall off. Am I angry? One hundred percent. <laughs> Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Bum, bum. Yeah, so cactus can be like, you know, a little annoying. But, you know, every farm can be also a little annoying. When I made all my farms, there wasn't one of them that I didn't have a rough time. <laughs> Basically. But you know, you gotta put in the work to you can get the money type thing. It's nice when you get like it's snapping off like how it snaps there. It's nice when it's like breaking so quick, like it's just constantly filling up the chest. That's what I want. Bruh, did I just fucking jump off again? Uh yeah, we caught ourselves. We're good, we're good. Need to figure out where the fuck we gotta put the chests as well. Need a chest area just for our loot. My biscuit. I forgot about my biscuit. How much did you make? Um, I'll probably like. Uh, wait. I like sweet, I didn't see your message before. I like the sweet berry because I refill with bone meal, like two double chests, and I go AFK. The only thing is, like, um, so I made a, I made a sea pickle farm. I made one of the ones that was like 14 and one. And for me to fill that up, like, there was, I didn't even fill up like the whole, like, I didn't even fill up like three of them, the amount of chests, it was crazy. Um, so, sorry, how much are you talking about? How much did I make, um, from the bay? Oh, of the farm. Ah, of the thingy. So, I did, I did all the layer, and then I started, hey, I'll show you. I was definitely going to do more, but I didn't expect you to be on so early. So, I did all the walls. I did all the walls, and then I started doing these stairs here, like this. And then I stopped here. <laughs> but yeah, I'm definitely going to do more. I'll definitely um do more by the time, next time that you're on. Unless you're on right now. But, um, yeah, I really didn't expect you to be on right now. I was going to like bounce between this and the, um, the cactus farm. So once I finish placing all the cactus farm, then I was going to do a little bit more of this. Um, yeah, I appreciate it, bro. I'm hoping that... Uh, well, I mean, I'll definitely be finished all of this. Uh, by the time you next log on, um, which if it is tomorrow, then yeah, definitely will be finished all this. Only thing I won't probably be finished is clearing all this, but you know, that will get done eventually type thing. Um, just can't sleep. Ah, fair enough, bro. Hopefully soon, hopefully soon you'll be able to sleep. But this here, you know, this is, this is like a fucking other job stay, you know, like this is, this could be a week down the track, you know, like we don't have to worry about this shit. But yeah, I was going to make like a fucking entrance over here as well. So then it kind of looks like, you know how the Colosseum has like an entrance area? But instead it's just going to be to the other, um, other arena type thing. Yeah, that's, that's the main thing. That's, um, that's what we're going to have to do is literally, that's where we're going to have to start is the water. I feel like this side here will probably be easier. It looks like it'll probably be harder, but, um... It's just because it, it looks like they mined it with a drill. So you might have to just literally just go through these. 
and break them but this one here looks um finding the water sources on this one here is going to be a little different <laughs> this will be a lot harder this one here you know even sponge you know i've got a little bit of sponge i've only got 14 pieces i think if i can just like sponge all this and make this a lot easier and then just fucking just break the rest just the side here is gonna be uh gonna be difficult that's for sure it is a mess eh? it is such a mess <laughs> yeah i wonder when that's gonna happen <clears throat> Home pork, we've got coffee, milk in our stables. Well, I like my chocolate milk. Yes, yeah, so after I do this layer here, I'll do a little bit more work on the Colosseum until I think that this has grown to at least two or three high. We've got an alt account just um, sitting here. NZ milk is the best milk, because probably all our milk's real. <laughs> you guys probably have like powdered milk or something like that. Oh, We're filthy boys. The process of... Bruh, you take that back. Yeah. <laughs> it depends on what you get. What the, the pie. fuck? Is it the fucking frozen pie? Yeah, Australian <laughs> frozen pies are better. What? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, okay. If it's a fucking, like, actual uh, bakery pie? Yeah. Like, Oh, maybe maybe if it's frozen, like a frozen like family pie or something like that. I don't know much about them. Um, so the guy, <laughs> get him out of here. He's my mod. He's my mod. He's Danny DeVito. Uh, he isn't chatting and chat for a bit though. Um, but if you're going like bakeries and stuff, I don't know. I've seen a lot of videos over like YouTube and social media and stuff about how New Zealand has better pies and all my mates and stuff say that we have better pies and stuff. Oh. Shoot, mate. You never well, know. I'm biased. I grew up in Pasty, so I would say Good that old Pasty. Like in English, do. Yeah. But that's like. Yeah. What we got? Four levels. Fuck, you cunts are making me want a pie, eh? Yeah, I really want a pie now, boys. Really want a pie. Yeah, bro, I can, I can definitely, I can come give you a hand, bro. I can definitely come help, um, help you out with collection system. They're quite easy to make in my eyes. Definitely recommend if you're like trying to go pistons. Definitely recommend going with um water system into pistons. Because with my first setup that I did, I tried a lot of setups of just like using a lot of hoppers. And then I wanted to try and make it like go up. So then it could go to higher chests. But then you'd have to like use a fucking like a dropper or something to spit your items out. And it was just too slow to do that. But if you um if you use like water, it's so much quicker. Um, I put it at bedrock, I think. I shouldn't have made, I should have made it if you feel few blocks higher yeah you can always um raise uh, if you haven't done too much you can always raise it but um also i have a um like a texture pack block rotation pack thingy so um when i do come to your base um it won't show the bedrock as well or it shouldn't show the bedrock <laughs> that's perfect hey uh, how we go my friend sazabix sazabix Sabix. Apologize if I'm saying it wrong. I probably am saying it wrong, my friend. How are you going though? What I'm doing right now, my friend, is I, it's uh my base has just all got raided and I made a really big kelp and pumpkin farm and made me all my money. And then after that I started making a cactus farm and I wanted to make it a really rich, expensive cactus farm, so I made all the floors and walls. Well I made one wall and all the floors obsidian. And then someone else on my team did the rest because it got raided um so now we're turning it into an arena so it's like a stadium type thing so this is where we're gonna do like sword fighting pvp and like some crystal pvp and stuff but yeah it's all out of obsidian just nothing gets exploded type thing but now i'm also working on another um cactus farm but yeah it's slowly taking time 
Yeah, it's our arena. And then here's also my um, other base as well. Um, for anyone new here wanting to see the damage done. Because they were right next to each other. I leaked my cords, basically, on stream, and they got, um, they got, uh, clipped. Eh. First time getting raided, though, like, properly in, like, five weeks. Base was around for, like, five weeks or something like that. Well, for a decent while. But yeah, so we had a cow farm on the side here, and we had pumpkin over that side. Yeah, this, this is the damage to the pumpkin. The kelp, they literally just stripped every fucking layer. <laughs> Couldn't really fucking grief it, really, unless you just destroyed the whole thing. But they did a bit of damage to this one here. But it is what it is. A proxy unit at uh, hand with um with your water system. Just turning my resource spec on. So we don't see no bedrock. Hey Julie, how we going my friend? How we going? Okay, what we want to do here is well, let me go pickaxe. Is we want to destroy this. It might leak for now. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll happily, I'll happily. I raid anyone's spaces, even if it's very, very small and only just starting out. So what I was telling a lot of my viewers earlier, uh, at the start of the stream, is I quite enjoy um, raiding people's spaces when they've only just started, because, you know, I can happily come back and re-rate your base, and, you know, I like to see the progress, basically, is what I'm saying. You know, you could have basically like a... Hey, I appreciate the follow uh, set -its. Um But yeah, you could literally just have like a one by one box, it being nothing, and then um, and then I TP, you know, give it a small rating, like maybe like, I don't know, like a one or a two. And then I come back like a day, a couple hours later, and hey, Julie, I appreciate the follow. And then, um, you know, like re rate it, like type thing, like once you've done progress to it and all that, like I'll, I'll happily come back and re rate. But give me a couple of seconds, Julie. I'm just quickly helping out this viewer here. Um, where did I get this pickaxe from? It must be your pickaxe. There you go, my man. Might have dropped that. Oh, making it a little bit of a mess of your thing. So basically what you need to do is we just need to push this out one more so the water stops going. Um, so, uh, so the water goes to this one here like that. I just need to destroy these chests out for you. Once we've done that, then we... Um, so basically I, I, before my farms got raided, I had really big farms and before my farms got raided, um, I used to drink shard potions. So when you drink shard potions, for you that don't know, you can drink up to three shard potions at a time. Um, they're very pricey. These, these things here, these here, um, so you can drink up to three of them at a time. Once you drink one, um, as a water being weird? Water's kind of weird for some weird reason. Um, once you drink one, it makes it so you get a shard every 30 seconds. Once you drink two, it makes it so you get a shard every 15 seconds. Once you drink three, you get one every seven seconds. So basically, I'd get a shard every seven seconds. Um, and I think it might still be activated as well. Hey, lucky man, how you going, my friend? You're new? You're looking for some tips? When new to the game, I recommend um, starting off is literally just like cutting down trees. Um, just because lots of people sell wood, and lots of people are always after wood, and it's a nice, like, little starter to get a couple of K into your bank and stuff. Then what I recommend is making a cactus farm. Do random TP, and go to wherever you go here, and basically, um, basically, what are these blocks here? Keep saying. Basically, um, look for a, um, desert, and once you find a desert, um, like, get lots of sand, make a cactus farm, and all that, because cactus farm sells for the most, um, money, for fully automatic, and then, also, you don't need, like, redstone repeaters and pistons to make it fully automatic, so you can, like, once this guy gets, you know, like, a small portion going, every time he's just standing around, it's just always going type thing, um, so we'll get another bucket of water, so I just make... In my stream, I'll just make crazy as farms. Like, I make real big farms. Um, 
We can either, if that doesn't link up there, then what we do is I'm just going to get some wood. But yeah, I appreciate everyone being here as well. I try to help out everyone I can. Um, just because I've played the game for like 10 years. Um, but I am also, like... I haven't played the game within like last time I had a good chunk of playing the game was like three years ago type thing. So this also needs to be ice as well actually. Fifteen um, K shoosh. Yeah, I've got a lot of knowledge, but then there's also a lot of things that, you know, is quite new to me as well. So basically the reason why I'm making that ice is so when something comes down here, it will always glide over that. But sometimes, you know, a cactus might come down like that there. Um, it will stay though. That was just that was a terrible example. Let's throw one there. So one might get stuck like that, but when the next one comes down like that, then it'll just collect it. So basically that's what uh will happen. So we can just do another one right here. Let's grab another um water. So also I if you do struggle as well, I do have um that's where I have like my YouTube channel and all that. And also this is where my Discord channel is well. Uh, there's my Discord as well, if you guys want to, like, that's where I keep in contact with, like, all my viewers and stuff like that. Let you guys know if I'm busy or anything like that. Um, and then we could even do, like, we could potentially just make it come out this way here. Um, maybe just go like this. This. And the water can come here. And then this is where you can have your evil, you can have, uh, do you want your water going up? So then the chest, you definitely want to do that. Um, um, what I'll do is I'll make it, you can make it go up with, um, with water kelp and with soul sand. Um, so I'll do that for you. So then you can guide like wherever you want your, um, thing. So I'll make this, um, just blocks for now. You can change it whenever you want. So let's. Get a crafting bench. I know you got one over there, but I'm just going to make one a little closer. And we'll get a couple of signs. So put that there, that there. <laughs> this is just going to be like your water elevator. Um, you can eventually make it higher if you want. We'll just make it this length here for now. And then this can come out like so. <laughs> okay, so how to make a water elevator is basically you need um, water. If I can grab some, there we go. And kelp, water kelp and salt sand. Or K for kelp, most expensive. So what you do is, you have your water at the very top. It's probably going to squirt out the side here. Um, we'll just have that attached for now. And then you have your soul sand at the bottom here. You place all the kelp in here like so. And once you've placed all that, you destroy the bottom one. And now it's just like, it just shoots up. Like, go, go stand in there. I'll um, destroy this block so you can get out. So now, when you go up, it's you fly up, you shoot straight up. Type thing. So that's how your loot's going to now get up. So now, I'm going to put a block over it so now it can come over here. And then, we can use this ice that I just brought just before. I'm going to just block that up for the meantime. Ice can go there. Ice. Do one more. Let's make this come out like so. And then you've got your chest and your hoppers. So let's make your chest like, I don't know, come here. And this is just like a nice little small um, one for you. Oh, that's meant to go into that. And then this will come. Put a block there. We probably should have moved that. Okay. 
Okay, so basically now when the loot comes up here, it should come over like this. Now we grab this like so. Need iron bars. Let's just buy some iron. Da -da. I bought that. I did. Boom. I probably lost you completely, but um, <laughs> this is this is how I do mine. Now chess. We got this last sign. They go there and what are? There you go, my friend. <laughs> it's how I do my water elevator. So basically, oh, and now you need your hopper. Basically, any loot. Oh, and this will also. That's fucking bedrock, isn't it? That's fucking bedrock. Is that bedrock? <laughs> this is bedrock, isn't it? We forgot the ice here. Oh, it is better. Ah. <laughs> uh, hmm, 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 hmm. Maybe we just move this whole thing. What if... I need the loot. We need to try and make that ice, but with that being bedrock, it's a little annoying. Does things still work? Oh, yeah, it still works. Hey bear, how we going my friend? There you go. So now that will all be coming into your chest. And then if you want more chest, what you do is you just go like this and then these hoppers just come in like that. And then that one goes down like that. And you can go, you can keep making this longer and longer as long as you want. You can make this all the way to the very wall if you really wanted. Hey, what have you been up to today as well, Bear? I'm just currently helping Nuffs out. Uh, he's just a viewer, just a little lost with his water elevator, so I'm just fixing it up for him. So yeah, that's how, um... I know understanding of how it gets this, yes, but I really appreciate it. Here, yeah, I'll show you, bro. Um, just make sure, um, when you come up here, you've got to swim so you can go under a block. So basically, when the loop comes in here... Um, so what if when you come up here, you just got to swim so you can get past this, or I can destroy this. I'll destroy that for you. So the loot comes up here, and when the loot goes, it hits the chest, and then it goes into this hopper here, and this hopper is the first one that goes into your chest system, and then once all of them ones are full, it will go into the next one, and then once that one's all full, it will go into the next one. I might just have to break this here so we can go down. I'll place that block above there so the loot goes... Yeah, so that's basically how it works. So uh, the hoppers, so see how the hoppers are facing into the chest? If there is another hopper under the hopper, it will always go to the bottom one. So in this case, it's always going to go to this bottom one here first, which is this chest. And once this chest here is um, full, then it will go to the chest above it, then the one above it, then next to it. So that's what will happen. Here is uh, some loot, my friend. Yeah, you can keep extending it this way. Yep. So, so for these top, so see these um these hoppers here. You've got to make them ones always face that way. So wherever you start, so say if you're only going to start like over here, you've got to have a block so it's facing into that way. So you've got to shift click so you're crouch clicked into it so it's always facing into it and same as these chests these chests are got to these hoppers are got to face into these chests and then this hopper here has got to face into these ones so whatever you like click on is whatever way it's going to face basically yeah i hope that's helped out a lot bro i hope that's helped out a lot but yeah it looks like you got a decent start of an area to um make a cactus farm looks nice bro yeah, do you want me to, um, I'll, you want to give me a little bit of wood back and I'll make a sign for you and I'll rate the space so then I can, um, uh, re-rate it for you. How good, my man. Thank you. 
Wait, do I have no sound? Why is that got nothing? The blocks? Is it meant to be sound when crafting? I thought it was. I'm losing my mind. There you go, my man. You can have the rest of the materials. I'll go chuck this sign just right next to your... Above your ender chest. Right. I'm going to give this a 4 out of 10 my friend just because it's just a nice open clear area but I'd love to come back and re-raid it once you've got a bit of you know bigger farm details and all that and this but yeah how good my guy how good